So that uh, enlightened yogi becomes like Shiva, a complete, uh, with complete knowledge and experience of all-pervadingness, all-pervading uh, consciousness. And whatever is uh, mind things, it happens, it appears. So the, all the powers of creation, you can have all the powers of creation. So this, this is the experience of enlightened yogi. Then it came Katha Japa. For this same yogi, the conversation, whatever he who has a conversation or like uh, any other murmuring or that is become recitation. The recitation is also that. So he uh, become an agent of that consciousness. So that is what this portion is uh, communicating. Now, when a sadhaka is in this stage, as per the scriptures, this sadhaka will be a medium of communication of the Paramatma, the God itself. The reason is, he is uh, pure or one with the universal mind, what we call as Hiranyagarbha, the universal mind, universal uh, energy of action. So his mind become one with that. He become a real guru or the uh, medium of all the knowledges. So therefore the Nas Sutra says, whatever he delivers, whatever he imparts the knowledge to others, that is Dhanam. So his Sutra says, Dhanam Atma Jnanam Dhanam Atma Jnanam So Dhanam Atma Jnanam So the Dhanam means giving. The act of giving is called Dhanam. So he gives self-knowledge, Atma Jnanam. So the Atma Jnana become a gift for him. He is gifted and blessed with Atma Jnana. Therefore, he can give that Atma Jnana to others. Actually, giving of Atma Jnana or any knowledge is not possible. The Guru can only guide. The teacher gives the, uh, 
the information or uh, he, he can just guide the student to practice that and learn more because his knowledge is nothing but self itself the self can be cannot be given it can only be experienced uh, therefore here it giving is it means he can purify by his knowledge his uh, advices all other students he can purify them so that he can do and the danam in sanskrit we have different uh, rules dhatus so dana can be made from different dhatus it means different the one meaning is famous that is dana means giving away something <coughs> that is budam dane so one root is there so he is giving knowledge or gifting knowledge to his students so that is the first meaning so the second meaning is from do to cut there is another uh, root the meaning is to cut separate so he does that he can separate the awareness from the universe or the object so making difference between object and subject so this awareness can be brought by meditations the techniques we discussed can be brought from that so that is also dana this means inspiring for practices like meditation and other sadhana also it is dana so making difference of subject and objects and then uh, then another root is there dai dai is to purify so this uh, yogi can purify others impurities so ultimately the ignorance is purified the delusion of maya is purified so that is also dana and then d from the root d the dana can be made then d means preserve to protect so the dana means is protection also it can be preserved so this way uh, yogi does all this he gives knowledge impart knowledge to others and guide the students for practicing meditation and all other sadhanas along with uh, purifying the mind and intellect so this uh, can be uh, as a uh, was no no when we meet uh, any mahatmas like this so that is what we want then it so the knowledge the purest knowledge what experience he has because those experiences which uh, he is having cannot be cannot get from others which is because others the normal uh, life they don't get all this knowledge so therefore this self experience can be learned from this yogis only sudanam atmajnanam यो अविपत्थो ज्ञाहेतु सो द सेम थिंग इज डेलिवर्ड इन डिफरेंट वर्ड्स 
यो अविपस्थ या हेतु यह द योगी हु इज एस्टाब्लिश्ड इन दिस शक्ति एंड पावर्स द स्पेशल पावर्स इज कॉल्ड यह हु इज विद दैट योगी सो हु एस्टाब्लिश इन दिस दिस प्रैक्टिस दैट योगी कैन बी एन एजेंट और he become an agency of wisdom for the normal people that is what it says the normal people here it is said avipastha avi avi mean pashu so we already uh, came across this word pashu so pashu pashun pati iti avipa so av avin avin pati iti avipa so he protects the normal people by giving this knowledge so nya hetuscha nya hetu mean he becomes an agent agent of this knowledge nya hetuscha avipasthah nya hetuscha so he goes to the people normal people and understands their problems and try to guide them this is what is he uh, is doing in our life after attaining this knowledge that is also uh, out of his mercy out of his kindness he does all this is not for any purpose he has not he has not any purpose he is purposeless so he is free of all those uh, conditions therefore he gives this knowledge to all others nya hetu cha so here it is as uh, avi avi means sheep so the sheep is pashus uh, paha means is protecting so avi paha protecting your guiding guarding can be said like that so this uh, yogis whatever knowledge they have they always give to others if the uh, eligent uh, person approaches him for this knowledge then he gives that but here we should remember when this uh, knowledge is given it doesn't mean it is the knowledge itself is uh, imparted or uh, uh, the you know what to one place to another place like we are giving something and taking something and giving like that here it giving is only guiding only we can guide because when the student is ready for the knowledge the gurus uh, will give the knowledge but uh, that practitioner the sadhaka the student should practice it then only he can guide it. otherwise uh, it, it doesn't work is like is knowledge is not like uh, any other object knowledge is unlike any other object it is giving and taking it doesn't happen is not like uh, we are giving food uh, when we eat food we get satisfaction it is not like that so after getting knowledge uh, you have to reveal it itself do meditation and research on that and then may be revealed स्वशक्ति प्रचयो विश्व सो स्वशक्ति प्रचय विश्व विश्व मीन्स दिस यूनिवर्स सो दिस यूनिवर्स इज द पवर ऑफ डिजॉन क्रिएशन इट मीन्स स्वशक्ति 
Shakti can be translated as his own power, but here the Swa means the highest power, the highest power of consciousness, the Shakti Chakra. So, Prachayaha, all pervading, so it is spread over Swa Shakti Prachayaha Vishwam. So he feels that he is everywhere. How, how he thinks about this creation after uh, the attainment, when he sees the creation, what he thinks is, uh, he thinks that this is my own uh, creation and I am there everywhere. This is the ultimate power is unfolded in this creation. So the Swashakti Prajayoshaha. So through that he enjoys that. Whenever uh, he opens his eyes and uh, sees this creation, so he feels that this is my own uh, creation and I am everywhere. Aham Brahmasmi. So that uh, experience comes there. Uh, here the self and the created world is not different in this sense that the created world is within the universal power, universal power that is the Shakti. So that Shakti is not different from consciousness itself. Therefore, the, this creation is based on Shakti and Shakti is rooted in consciousness. So this way he experiences his own Shakti's the uh, unfoldment of his own fact. So that is called Swasakti Prachaya Avishva. So therefore, now when he feels that is everything is my own creation, is coming out of me and protected by me, so he thinks like this. So Stiti Layo Stiti Layo Stiti Layo Stiti and Laya. So, Stiti means maintenance. So, the last sutra said, uh, everything is produced from him, from that higher power. Now, not only production, but also Stiti, the maintenance, and the Laya, dissolution. So, both are from him only. So why it is said? Because the material cause, the ultimate material cause is everything. The effects are produced, the manifestation of material cause, the ultimate material cause, and what is manifested, the objects, the effects, they maintain their existence in material cause. And when the object is destroyed, it goes back to the material cause. So it is coming from material cause and its existence is in material cause and destruction or dissolution is also in material cause. So therefore we, uh, we can say as his experience, his experience is uh, predicted here, how he experienced that. This, his experience is one with everything, whatever created. So, Srishti, Stiti and Laya. This is the experience we call as Brahma Jnanam in Vedanta. Knowing himself as all pervading. So, Srishti, Stiti, Laya. Srishti, creation, Stiti, maintenance or the life, the existence of life and then dissolution. So both are based on the same cause. It cannot happen 
separately because it is always based on the material cause. So this is his experience after uh, no, enlightenment, after experiencing his own nature of power. This is the highest experience we call as Jivan Mukta. He is liberated while he is in the body. So that is Jivan Mukta. Tat pravritta vapya nirasaha sambetra bhavat Tat pravritta vapya nirasaha sambetra bhavat तद् प्रवृत्तौ अपि अनिरासः तद् प्रवृत्तौ अपि अनिरासः संवेत्र भावात सो इफ वी थिंक दैट व्हेन ही इज इन द बॉडी देयर मे बी ए ब्रेक ऑफ दिस अवेयरनेस देयर इज अ चांस when he is indulged with uh, all other activities uh, he may forget this awareness like uh, we meditate for a half an hour and one hour uh, then our mind is uh, after that our mind is engaged with uh, any other ob- objects or is out of meditation then we feel that disturbance that gap similarly he can also uh, feel that when his mind is engaged in other activities he may forget of this higher power or this knowledge this awareness so in this case then what is the the remedy or what is the way to bring it back if it, that is the case it happens to him then it says tat pravrittau api anirasaha so in his case there is no break for this in that state the awareness is never forgot as like uh, we never forget our own uh, nature as human being there is no need to remember every day morning that i am human being i am a man or i am a woman there is no need to remember now this knowledge is also in brain only but it is in, in our memory because we are human being we remember it but there is no need to remember because we don't forget that it is not a object of or subject of remembering and forgetting so therefore it become a nat- it become uh, our own nature our own character is part of uh, our uh, what is it, the mind so that to the connection of uh, there is no need to remember separately or do any special sadhana or anything like that so this is an example if this can happen as we know this uh, the knowledge what we feel as consciousness is also our essential uh, being the consciousness is also essential being as we are living beings and uh, human beings we know that we are that so we are identifying that similarly the consciousness is also the without consciousness is nothing is possible therefore the awareness of consciousness this in this stage should not be separated or it, it won't be separated it will be always experiencing that 
तत्वृत्तौ अनिरास संवेत्र भावात् संवेत्र मीन्स ही इज बीइंग द लॉयर ऑलवेज ही इज ही इज एक्सपीरियंसिंग इज ऑन एक्सिस्टेंस आज द लॉयर आज सब्जेक्ट ऑलवेज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड दिस लास्ट सेशंस दैट द सब्जेक्टिव awareness and objective awareness so the objective awareness can change once the sadhaka have the awareness of subject as his own nature essential nature it cannot change it cannot be uh, separated so that awareness is necessary so when whenever mind is active mind is awake so the awareness will continue when mind sleeps he is like when the deep sleep we have the awareness so that awareness remains the thought process won't be there and another speciality of this awareness because we don't have any other word to communicate this experience so we call it as awareness but this awareness is without thought process there is no thought construction of this awareness the thoughts are constructed by this awareness or on this awareness not uh, we have, we have to make a thought process for this awareness so that is why it is always there all aware all other uh, awareness what we talk about or what we experience in normal life as a thought process because if thought process is not there there is no awareness but in this case as i said when we remember ourselves as human being if we uh, contemplate on that then we know there is no special thought process for that it is already well established in subconscious mind only the reflections like when we remember if somebody says you remember that you are a human being we don't feel like uh, it is like no meaningless it has no meaning that we have to remember ourselves as a human being it what does it mean it means we are always remembering that knowingly unknowingly so therefore we should uh, uh, consider that the thought process or the awareness of the human being as our uh, no our, our nature is already well established in our subconscious mind the same thing happens to emotions if we can do that this is also possible and if this is possible then the enlightenment in this level is also possible so that is why samved samvetra bhava samvetra samveta means noya so uh, one who firmly know it is called samveta the correct knowledge the correct knowledge the samvetra bhava so now uh, therefore we can say that uh, there is no change is experience the change cannot be experienced okay. now if you want see something is changing or like uh, uh mind brings many thoughts one after another so we know mind is changing intellect is changing our uh, concentration is also changing sometimes is good sometimes bad like that so for all these changes to know all these changes or changing experiences there should should be one knower without change so only that knower can experience 
these changes. Like we are sitting here and looking out and uh, passing thoughts or uh, what we see. Like we can see that these are the passing thoughts. Like we see the vehicle outside passing. Similarly, we see it. So, therefore, this is an experience by meditation it can be achieved. So, this is that what the it, it proves that Samvetra Bhava, this Samvetta, the knower is always there. Therefore, as I said, this knowing or this awareness has no thought process. It is beyond thought process. Manasa Atita, Manatita. It is called as Unmani Bhava, beyond all thought process. Sometimes it is said Turiya and sometimes it is said Turiya Atita also. So, uh, as far as his experience, he let uh, mind work its own. He will not uh, stop mind working. When we practice sadhana, we stop, we try to stop by concentrating on dharana and dhyanam and all of that. But here, he has, uh, he has nothing to do with that. The mind will work its own. He will be in his awareness. Whenever he wants to stop mind or leave mind, he just leave mind the connection. And then he is one with that in that samadhi. That is the samvetra bhava. So he is in always as a knower. He is always as the same and one. There is no change in him. The Upanishad also says, Na drashtahu drashtair vipari loko vidyahe. So the knower is always the knower. The seer is always here. So he has no change. Because all the changes are known by him. Therefore he has no change. Sukha Sukhayor Bahir Mananam Yeah, that is what said here. Sukha Sukhayor Bahir Mananam. Sukha and Asukha, pleasure and pain, is Bahir Mananam. It is outside of him. It means he, for him, the pleasure and pain is something outside. It is not inside as we feel. So the pleasure is also an object for him. So he feel it is outside. It is all connected to mind and its functions. Ah. It is all inner uh, psychic uh, actions and reactions. So therefore it is pleasure and pain. Ah. The identity is not there. Now the last part, as per the last sutra, we know he is only the knower. And the knower cannot be known. Or knower uh, never, be a, never be an object. So the knower is always subject. So therefore, the hir mananam. So it is, uh, the mananam is thinking is outside. And the object of thinking is also outside. The state of the psychological in, uh, individual. Like uh, when we say the psychological individual, what does it mean? We identify ourselves with the mind. This is what it says, psychological individual. Now, we have no idea of what the mind, uh, uh, mind's functions and what the character or uh, nature of consciousness. Therefore, the identification, misidentification or superimposition is there. It is 
one together with that. <coughs> so this uh, individuality is based on antakkarana. In uh, our scriptures it is called antakkarana, the inner psychic uh, functions. That is called antakkaranas. So these inner psychic functions are identified with ourselves, then we think that I am thinking, uh, I am experiencing, I am enjoying, I have the pain, I am suffering. So all these are the identification with this. And this knowledge is uh, called as uh, relational knowledge, the knowledge with relation. Whatever we experience, we relate it to some object. If we experience some pressure, we relate to that pressure to some object. We never think that the pleasure is from our inside, it is from our own self. We never think that. So this is uh, uh, the knowledge and the experience is in relation. So it is relational experience and the functions of inner psychic uh, uh, activities and the changes. Everything is identified. This is the life we are leading. So this life is called superimposed, adhyasika, adhyasika. Superimposed. It is not real. Why? Because you are, we are superimposing ourselves on object. We are uh, having the experience, but we are superimposing the experience of an other thing. Like we think this object give, gave me pressure, and this object, another object is giving me pain. But that object is essential and it has nothing to do with you. How can it give you uh, pleasure and pain? It cannot. So we are imposing that on that. Therefore it is uh, said that is superimposed experiences. Adhyasika That's a technical term used. And this we, this we have with Andhakarana. Like a psycho uh, physic organism. It is together, uh, the mind and the body together works and this uh, uh, ignorance, the superimposition is always there. Therefore, Sukha and Dukkha is uh, misidentified with the self. Sukha Dukkha Yor Vahir Gamana. For this yogi, because he separate the mind and its function from consciousness by meditation, by this uh, uh, determination. That determination gives him all these uh, uh, experiences. Now, if he wants the sukha and the dukkha, pleasure and pain is not yours, it is mind's function. If we take it as its mind's function, then you are free from all the problems, all the uh, problems of this creation, this world. So the Anas Sutra will say about that. Tadvimuktas tuke vali So really speaking, now he is alone, Kevali, absolutely alone. Tadvimuktas tu, so freed from all these impediments, all these problems of pressure and pain and mind and body and this, so he become one with that ultimate uh, awareness, ultimate knowledge which uh, should be gained by this practice. In that stage, he feels himself alone, 
So tad vimuktaha. This is called vimukti. This is the state of jivan mukti. Uh, he alone. Alone means he feels that I am everywhere. Only my assistance is there. Nothing else exists. Uh, it means he is not considering other object. It doesn't mean that. He consider all other object, but not separated from his own existence. So, tad vimukta has to evali. This is the all-pervading experience of Brahman. So, tad vimukta. So, this is all vimukti. Now, what is this world all about? This world is all about our own experience. We don't have the experience of outside object. We don't have world. Like we in deep sleep, when we are in deep sleep, there is no world because we don't have the experience of world. Uh, uh, then what does it mean? If your mind is not connected to the objects, then there is no world. But in this case, Mind is there, mind is in full awareness, he is not sleeping or he is not in samadhi. He is in waking state, but waking state with this awareness that I am the consciousness, uh, mind and other uh, functions are not in me, they are outside. So the determination comes, then he feels, uh, my existence is Kevali, I am alone, therefore he is a Kevali. So who, the experience of Kevala, the oneness, is called Kaivalya, because for Moksha we have another word that is Kaivalya. So Kaivalya means aloneness, the state of aloneness. So he attains that, then uh, he has no karma and all other. So uh, next sutras will talk about that. So we will learn the, those sutras day after tomorrow. But tomorrow we have holiday uh, day after Om Purnamatah Purnamitam Purnat Purnamudasyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnamevavasishyate